Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP. In this video, we are going to talk about the otitis in cattle. Otitis is an inflammation of the middle ear structure. It's seen in small and large domestic animals, including dogs, cat, rabbits, ruminants, horses, pigs and camelids. It can be unilateral or bilateral and can affect the cattle of all ages. Although typically sporadic outbreaks are possible in herds, otitis media usually results from extension of infection from the external ear canal, through the tympanic membrane or from migration of perineal microorganism through the auditory tube. Occasionally, infection extends from the inner ear to the middle ear or reaches the middle ear by the hematogenous route. Primary otitis media has been reported in certain breeds of cattle. Untreated otitis media can lead to otitis interna, that is, inflammation of the inner ear structures or to rupture of an intact tympanic membrane with subsequent otitis externa. As we have discussed what the disease is and how it spreads, let's try to understand the clinical signs from which you can understand whether your cattle is suffering from otitis or not. Let's discuss the signs of otitis externa. First is head shaking exudate inflammation of the ear canal, Orner syndrome, facial nerve palsy, that is facial paralysis, keratoconjunctivitis cica, decreased hearing, etc. Now, signs of otitis interna, head tilt, circling, leaning or falling towards the affected side, general incoordination, etc. are the signs of otitis interna. Now, let's talk about the diagnosis. In cattle, otitis media and interna are presumptively diagnosed based on the history and clinical signs. A history of bottle feeding or feeding of contaminated milk to neonates, concurrent or previous respiratory disease, chronic ear infection or oral foreign body in conjunction with typical signs of otitis media interna should prompt examination of the ear canal. Radiography can detect osseous changes in the tympanic bulla and fluid in the tympanic cavity if appropriate positioning and techniques are used. However, CT and MRIs are some sensitive and are the preferred methods when feasible. Fluid in the bullet has been found in head CTs of cattle with no history or clinical signs of otitis externa and media. However, so diagnosis may not be simple. In some cases, diagnosis is made only at necropsy using special techniques to expose the tympanic region. Diagnosis of clinical otitis media interna in one ear should always prompt examination of the other ear to determine whether the subclinical otitis is present or not. Now let's talk about the treatment. Treatment of otitis media interna is most successful when started early in the course of disease. If the case is acute in a cattle, then special consideration should be given to evaluation for foreign body iatrogenic rupture of the eardrum. Possibly, Secondary to aggressive cleaning. Chronic cases are often refractory treatment or recur after apparent remission. Ear cleaning is done with diluted povidine iodine or kiprofloxin drops were instilled topically in the affected ear for one week. Rectal temperature is reduced to 103.2 degree Fahrenheit. Treatment and normal rectal temperature is observed on the fourth day of the treatment. Aortic discharge is reduced from the third day of post-treatment. Significant improvement is noticed only after the five days complete treatment. Now let's discuss the key points that you should take from the video. Otitis media and interna are uncommon in cattle and animals. In cattle, they are most commonly in the result of chronic otitis externa. Diagnosis requires history, otoscopic and physical examination and advanced imaging if possible. Treatment can be difficult and should be directed at treating infectious and managing inflammation. So, this was all about the topic. For more such information on cattle health and dairy products, keep watching Sudeshi VIP. This is Yash Saxena signing off. Thank you.